How did it happen? <sighs> they said she was looking for folk songs. She uses them in her uh, concerts, you know. Anyway, she was looking for this Indian group back in the hills, and she fell somehow. Have you heard her sing? Yes, everybody's heard Lily Warren sing, haven't they? That's all they say. It's lucky you were around. <laughs> Good old Nurse Kelly to the rescue. It's a spine, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And internal bleeding. Who made the decision to move her? Well, there was no alternative. They have no medical facilities down there at all. So they called a specialist in San Diego, and he told us to bring her on in. It's her only chance, and I don't know if she's going to make it. She's just coming up a win or two. Her first big one. Something Elizabethan. Mm. It's an old dirge. Hyped up a little for the kids. Mm -hmm. Oh. San Diego. San Diego to Charter 424. Come in. San Diego, this is 424. Go ahead. Bad news, boys. There's a tropical disturbance down your way. Okay, how widespread is it? Arizona to the Blue Pacific. You're okay to go around if you want. Look, San Diego, we have an emergency situation up here with a little lady that's sick in the back, remember? We're gonna go on through, okay? Roger, 424. Smooth and clear all the way to San Diego, he said. Shut up and give me the water. Oh, honey. Time in back there. It's gonna get dirty. Sir, could you fasten your seatbelt, please? Excuse me, would you fasten your seatbelt, please? Yes. Mr. Fielding? Mm. Mr. Fielding? Would you fasten your seatbelt, please? Oh, yeah. No, bud, that's my belt. Come on. Well, where's mine? Hey. Hmm? How about... He knew about this storm all along. But... But... Yeah? I had a good time in Mexico. Did you? Yeah, like always. I'm gonna have two when I get around to it. Are we gonna have two? When we get around to it. I don't know, maybe we'll just overpopulate the world. Uh, Miss Kelly, would you mind changing seats for now? Oh, all right.
Natalie! Help me! Help me, please! It's all right. Everybody! Everybody! Dead! Take over for a minute, will you, Mitch? Sure. I'd like to talk to the captain. Oh, sir, I'm sorry. Please, it's an emergency. All right. Just a minute, please. There's only one cure for a hangover. Well, don't keep it a secret, huh? Jump. Thanks. One of the paying passengers would like a private word with mm, the That's captain. great. Which one? Dr. Rhodes. Hey, maybe he's got another ESP flash, like the thunder and lightning. Yeah, just my luck. Well, I'll check the cargo, see to it that it's riding all right. Let me have that clipboard, will you? Sure. All right, honey, let's go. All right. Well, you want to see me? Uh, can we, can we talk in private? Yeah, come on. see me about I'm not sure that's what makes it so difficult but there's something wrong something on this airplane perhaps an engine <laughs> is that your ESP working for you well your pal feeling gave you quite a buildup I know how it must sound to you but the feelings have been very strong well did your feelings also tell you what engine it was the left inboard Number two? Listen, you start passing stories like that around the cabin in there, and you can have panic on your... That's why I'm talking to you privately. There was a sound, a deep, vibrating sound, and it has something to do with that engine. Look, Dr. Rhodes, believe me, I've been flying a long time, and I know every pitch, every tune those engines can play, you know? There's nothing wrong. They're just fine, okay? So you just butt out of my business, and believe me, <laughs> I won't go into yours, all right? What I heard may be a premonition, a warning. Now, you listen to me, Doc. It's my responsibility to see to it this plane and every passenger on here gets to San Diego safely, and that I'll do. So you do me a favor, will you? You keep your little ESP to yourself. I think we have enough Jonas on this flight as it is. Get on my nerves here. He called me in the back to give me some warning about some engine trouble. Number two. It's the one that gave us trouble last time out from Frisco. Yeah, I know.
are you doing? She's trying to reach me. Would you please remain seated? Thank you. Uh, may I have your attention, folks? There's nothing to be alarmed about. The captain is merely conducting an in-flight test on one of the engines. It's just routine. Since when is an in-flight test routine, sweetheart? What's really going on? There's nothing wrong, sir. Uh, so 